Hello there, everyone. Right now, it's 402 on Wednesday, December 8th. For today's announcement, today we have a visitor at the campsite. If our guest is able to see what makes this such a special place. That's all for today. Have fun out there. Okay, I was just reading the thing. So, as we come into it today, I have been gone the past two days. Oh, gosh, I love that I wrote myself an out. Gosh, always write yourself an out. I know what makes Breaking Bad good is that they didn't write themselves an out. But, fuck that, I'm not Breaking Bad. Um, so I wrote myself an out so that if I just needed days off, I can. And I have been sick the past two days. Before we go any farther, I should say, no, it's not COVID. Didn't have COVID. Nope. I just, I had food poisoning, a severe case, and I do not, and I'm not going to get into any more of the details because they get a wee bit graphic. So I'm just going to leave it there. Hey, magical wizard. It is a long time no see. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm not going to get into any more details other than that, that I've been sick, and I've been out the past two days. But I'm back now. I'm still a little under the weather, but, you know, I'm well enough to actually, like, get up and do things now. Now. Well, okay, to be fair. Oh, it's, um, you, Ursula. To be fair, even though I was feeling terrible on Monday... I still had to go get up and do things because I had a final Monday night. I had a, fi a final exam in class. Like, I had, to, I had to go drive down to the university. So, I'm, like, dying here. Like, you know, again, food poisoning. So, think whatever symptoms those are. Plus, I was running a fever and just aches all around. And I went down to the university and I took my... And I took my final exam. I, are, I I passed, so that's what matters. Yeah, I already got my grade back and I passed. But you better believe I was not feeling good. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I've just been out of it. But I, and I have another final today. Which is why I'm just doing Animal Crossing now. And why it's going to be a short stream today. Because I have a final today. And I just want to like... Knock out Animal Crossing, then go work on the final. And it's my last final, but it's a big one. It's It's got a lot of work to it. And I'm going to take all the time I need to do all the work I need to do to get it all done. And then I can finally relax. And then the Game Awards are tomorrow, which I am not watching, so that means I'm going to be relaxing instead. Because I'm not watching the Game Awards. Yeah, I'll see you around, Marshall. <laughs> Actually, so speaking of the Game Awards, you know, while we're... So, Jeff Keighley's been hyping up the Game Awards. And he's been saying that during the Game Awards, there are going to be like three to four announcements that are on par with Elden Ring. Right, Elden Ring, the big game, the big new From Software game, done by George R. Oh, hey, look, it's our new neighbor, Bobbert. Thanks for inviting me to your island the other day. I'm all moved in now, and it's just like you said, this place is a cool island. Oh, Bobbert, it's cool to have you. But yeah, so uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, four, three to four announcements as big as uh, Elden Ring. So what could those announcements be? Well, you know me, my first thought is Breath of the Wild 2. I, I think there was a quote going around like today or yesterday from an interview 
that was the, them saying like, oh, they're going to start ramping up Breath of the Wild 2 next year. So like we're going to find out more about the game next year. But I still think there is no better place than to do it here at the Game Awards. The Game Awards and Breath of the Wild have always kind of been linked together. At least the first game was. And now for the sequel, they can take full advantage of it and be like, the tw from the 2017 Game of the Year, the sequel to the sequel to the crit critically acclaimed highest one of the highest rated games of all time, Breath of the Wild comes, The Legend of Zelda, The Wimble Bimble, and boom, everybody loses their shit. We find out the title. We get like. I don't know, like 20 more seconds of gameplay, and it's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> that that would blow people's socks off. That's as big as Elden Ring. That's as big as, um... I don't know, any of those other things I said. I could see it. I don't... It's totally possible it might not happen. Again, we didn't get anything from Nintendo in the Game Awards in 2019. But, you know, Nintendo usually does one announcement. Not always good announcements. Um, one year they revealed Cranky Kong. So, yeah, they're not always good announcements. But Reggie was always a supporter of the Game Awards. And I feel like the Game Awards have done good for Smash Bros. With Joker and Sephiroth. So I feel like it would only make sense for them to actually, like, integrate that stuff. And fully go in on it. But who knows? It's Nintendo. The only rules Nintendo follows are no rules. Seriously, that's it. Uh, what else would I want? What else do I think we'll see from the Game Awards? Um, so we got the tr we got a poster for the new Sonic movie today, and also the voice um, actress who's been playing Tails for years now is confirmed to be the voice actress for Tails in the Sonic movie. Which I know people are happy over. Because, you, you know, with like Chris Pratt cast as Mario, a lot of people have been like, oh, Hollywood, stop casting actors, like A, a B tier uh, actors, and start casting real voice actors in your movie. That's been a complaint, and I feel like the Chris Pratt Mario thing only made it worse, which, yeah, I guess it's kind of fair. But no, they got the actual voice actress for Tails to come in and voice tales. So that's kind of cool. And to be fair, it was the same voice actress for Tails in um the end of the Sonic movie when Tails has a little cameo, it's the same voice actress. But to be Sonic in the Sonic movie is played by Ben Schwartz, who is a comedian that I do like. So I was I when they announced Ben Schwartz was Sonic, I think it's Ben Schwartz. I was like, "Oh, that's cool." Yeah, it's Ben Schwartz from Go watch a Middlevitz and Middlevitch and Schwartz on Netflix. Real, it's a, like a stand-up comedy series. Really funny, really good stuff. But yeah, so I'm, so we're, they and they revealed with the poster that we are getting the trailer tomorrow, and I think the movie comes out in April. We also know Idris Elba is Knuckles, which again, that's kind of Idris Elba is just an amazing actor. I'm I'm fine with him being in whatever because he's fantastic. But I know people have complicated feelings on these things, so, yeah. Again, I, the whole voice actor thing is very complicated. Like, should should actors be voice acting characters in animation? Or should they just get a, um, animation voice actors to do it? Well, and, like, what about the inverse? Again, I, I know it's mostly TV, but I'll always think of Mark Hamill, one of the best voice actors ever, and it's only because he got typecast in Hollywood, so he became a voice actor, and he's one of the best of all time. You know, like, I always highlight, like, the Joker and whatnot. I always forget he's, um, Skips in regular show. Yeah, Mar He's Skips. Uh, why did I bring the series back? Because of the 2.0 update. That's it. The 2.0 update got announced, and I, and I even said back in the day when the original series ended 
that if there was ever a like a big substantial update, I would bring the series back. Of course, I'm not doing it daily anymore. I'm just doing it as long as I'm having fun. And the second I have fun, I'll start. I'll quit. But I haven't stopped having fun so far. Admittedly, some days are shorter. Yeah, the game had a massive 2.0 update. It added the coffee shop. It added new islands. It added basically an entire new game with the Happy Home Paradise. Yeah, no, we're in the... It's a whole new... I mean, okay, not everything's new, obviously. But there are a lot of new things. It's the 2.0 update. Yeah. Yeah, when do I plan on stopping? I don't actually know. At the moment, I, I know we're definitely going to make it into the New Year's. Definitely into next year. But after that, as long as the game, I keep having fun, then I'll just keep playing. When I stop having fun is when we stop. I also have a list of things I want to do before the series ends, like finish the paintings in the museum. But, and who knows how long that's going to take. Oh, the, co the coffee shop is a uh, museum upgrade. You talk, to, you talk to Blathers, he'll tell you about Brewster, then you go to one of Captain's Islands, and Brewster will be there. I think you might have to reach a certain point. I don't know what that point is. I think you have to, like, play the game for long enough or something, or do a certain thing. I don't know. When, when I booted up the game after the new update, I had everything I needed to do it. So, like, the game just gave it to me. But, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I heard other people who, like, don't have Brewster and don't have Captain's Islands. And, like, there's there's probably, like, a certain threshold you have to cross. But I have no idea what that threshold is. I just know I've crossed it. And... <laughs> if I had to guess, it's play a certain amount of days. Because, like, I know, like, to get the shop upgrade, it's 30 days pisses me off there was never another shop upgrade. There really should have been one more shop upgrade as part of the new update, but, eh. Whatever. Oh, and good, good thing we didn't buy turnips this week. My turnip prices are probably abysmal. Let's go to Nook Crannies and sell some stuff. Um. Oh, we broke our streak in the thing. What's our turn up prices at? 60 bells. Okay, 60 could mean literally anything. I would assume, based on that number, I would assume fluctuating, but legitimately, I've seen 60 mean anything. Oh, you just got KK Slider the other day. Wow. We got a scenic painting. I don't remember if that's real or not. Honestly, I can never tell. I, I've stopped looking up when paintings are real. I'm just buying one every day, whether it's fake or not. Just to keep painting cycling. Yeah, I know I know a few people who reset their islands. Um usually, especially with the new update. I know a few people who are like, oh yeah, I wanna start now that there's all this new stuff, I want to do something completely new with my island. And, yeah. I'm not one of them, because... Yeah, I'm I'm good. But I get, I get why some people did it.
Alright, uh, let's see. I have to. <laughs> um. I know I have this. I know I don't have this. But I also think this is fake. But I'm gonna buy it anyways. Just on the off chance it's real, but I bet it's not. Let's see, does Leaf have anything new? Holly still in season, yes, I know, Leaf. Wheat. So if we need more wheat, we can I can finally get it. Yeah, if I were to decide to change the garden, I guess I can do that now. I guess we should get our fortune. Katrina, what you got? Or, I don't, see, I, th I still think the colors mean something, but I never actually know. Money will improve. Oh, that that's actually, I, that does some good things. I don't remember what good things that does, but I know that does some good things. I know if money is bad, then you won't get a money tree tomorrow. At least I think that's m wealth is bad. I know well. I know belongings as bad also does something similar-ish. So let me think. So I talk Sonic movie, Breath of the Wild. I still totally. We're gonna get a Fall Guys thing. I know Fall Guys, Fall Guys is still big enough to be at the Game Awards. I think last year we got um, 2B in Fall Guys. I think we're... Or maybe that was at Summer Games Fest. I don't remember. Oh, um, hey, Osmar. I've actually been sick the past few days. But I'm starting to feel better. So, yeah, take that however you will. But, yeah, um, I could see us getting a Fall Guys thing or, like, an epic... Some, some sort of... For I know The Rock just got revealed for Fortnite, which is something I and many other people did predict earlier this year. Admittedly, I expected it more around, like, E3 time, but we all knew The Rock was coming to Fortnite. Like, that was so obvious. But he's in Fortnite now, and of course there's been some memes. Um, I guess Spider-Man's in Fortnite now, and it's actually kind of cool. Like, he, he like, the web-swinging actually works pretty well compared to like the marvel's avengers game where it's terrible um what else what else oh fuck i just remembered there was a new episode of hawkeye today god i haven't filmed a single one of those ah uh, god i don't even have time to watch it today ah uh, Oh, I already have Coco on my island. <laughs> yeah, no. I already have Coco. Damn. <laughs> um... What else? You know what I would love to see at the Game Awards, but I don't expect to happen? Jeff Keighley to call out Activision Blizzard for being uh, being a scummy piece of shit company. That'd be really cool. Oh, hey, look, we got a rare island today. A bamboo island. At least I, th I think it's, like, somewhat rare. That's neat. Yeah, no, Activision Blizzard's a, pe a scummy piece of shit company. And they deserve to be called out. 
And the Game Awards has taken a stand to defend Hideo Kojima in the past. They need to stake a stand against Activision Blizzard. Yeah, they should they should do it. They're not going to, obviously. I mean, Jeff Keighley's already made his stance clear that we should be celebrating this shitty industry and awarding them for all the terrible things they do instead of, you know, holding them accountable for all the terrible shit they do and get away with because of our perpetual 24-hour news cycle. We always forget about it within 24 hours of them doing it because, you know, we always have to move on to the next big thing. Um, is there a, I mean, one of these is probably the gyroid, but I also don't want to go looking for them. Let's see, anything else? Um, Horizon Forbidden West could totally be at the Game Awards. It also could totally not be, but I could totally see it happening. Microsoft's probably going to show off something. Um, Starfield? Um, the Starfield hype cycle has to begin eventually. And I guess it would make sense to start the Starfield hype cycle at the Game Awards. Because, you know, the game comes out in basically a year. But I, that part of me feels like that's a little too early. Especially because it could totally be delayed. I don't think it will be, but it totally could. But it's still basically a year away. So I don't... I could... I don't... Technically, we're already start, we've already started the Starfield hype cycle. But I don't think it's going to happen... Any other big games from big publishers that I'm forgetting? I guarantee you there are. But nothing I'm thinking of off the top of my head. I don't know, let me, um, let me look up big game. There are, yeah, and you know, the funny thing is there are so many big games coming out next year. Big ga games releasing in 2022. Oh, that new Saints Row game that I think got delayed at some point. I don't know. Totally could see it. Um, I doubt we'll see Pokemon. I think Sifu got delayed as well, but I could see that. Um, yeah, no, we're not going to see Pokemon. We could see Saints Row. Uh, Gran Turismo 7, I don't give a shit about. Wow, this list has not many things on it. Alright, well, let me see if I can find a better list. Um. Oh, God of War got announced to be coming to PC earlier today. That's cool, I guess. For like the like the people who are interested in that. Again, I think it's fine that Sony games are coming to console like two years later. That's fine. Um, Dying Light Two is, I guess, coming out. Again, I like the first Dying Light, but I just can't get hyped for the second one. Horizon Forbidden West. Um, Elden Ring, which I do expect to see something. We got a robot. You. And you. I, I think... I We've probably seen every gyroid at this point. I mean, it's totally possible there's one we haven't, but... Like, with the amount we've seen, we've got to have. Uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderland? Yeah, we could see that. Uh, Project Triangle Strategy? Probably not. I mean, but you never know with these things. Um... Oh, is the Vampire the Masquerade sequel coming out in May? I, I wasn't the Vampire the Masquerade sequel revealed at the Game Awards. I don't remember. Saints Row was in August, so yeah, I could see that. I've never heard of this game. Starfield's in November, and then let's see a plague the a Plague Tale Requiem. Okay, yeah, I could see that. Um. Oh, that Avatar game? Um, I don't remember which conference that was revealed at, but sure, why not? Uh, Bayonetta 3, again, like, if that does take the place of Nintendo's announcement, I could see that instead of, like, a Breath of the Wild. 
But I could also just see them reveal them doing both. Oh, oh yeah, I forget. We're getting bear and breakfast in Blossom Tail too. The first Blossom Tail was a lot of fun. I got it on sale on like the Switch for like six bucks, and it, it's basically a link to the past style game, like it's a Zelda like, and it's really fun. It's really cute. Um, oh, we're getting a second Coffee Talk. Oh, that's a fun game. Cult of the Lamb looks pretty good. Curse to Golf, I've never heard of. Oh, is this the undead golfing game where you're like in hell golfing? Yeah, okay, I kind of remember this. That's, that could, I, I think that looked interesting if I remember what that is. Um, so do we find out new information about Cyberpunk? Yeah. I mean, it's nominated for like three awards. We could. Uh, let's see. Destroy All Humans 2, maybe. Um, Edge of Eternity, I have no idea what that is. Endling, no idea. Evil, no idea. Forspoken, that sounds familiar. Ghostwire Tokyo? I know it's PlayStation exclusive, but yeah, totally. God of War Ragnarok, no. Good Ball by Volcano High, we haven't heard anything about. Um, I don't expect uh, Grand, Th uh, Grand Theft Auto... I don't know, there were talks about, like, there was a new announcement for Grand Theft Auto today that they're doing a new online mission that is uh, Franklin, you know, the protagonist, meeting up with Dr. Dre, and that's going to be, like, a new story mission in the online mode. And it's like, one day they have to do GTA 6, but I don't, that's not going to be here, obviously. Fix the GTA trilogy? I don't know. Uh, Gotham Knights, no. That Hogwarts game, they better fucking not. Um, Kirby, no. Kerbal Space Program, eh, that's always actually possible. Uh, Lego Star Wars, yeah, totally, that's always possible. Don't give up. I, we could totally go catch that pack for him. Mario plus rabbits, maybe. Marvel's Midnight Suns, maybe. Um, Moss 2, I don't know about that. Same thing with Oxenfree 2, which the studio is now owned by Netflix, so. Yeah. They're doing a new Pokemon trading card game? It's probably some live piece of shit, I don't know. Prince of Persia remake? I don't know. You never know. Redfall? Probably not. Salt and Sacrifice would be cool. Uh, Shovel Knight... Uh, that new Shovel Knight game comes out... Um, is it next week or is it this week? I think the new Shovel Knight game comes out next week. Shovel Knight Puzzle League? It comes to, I think, probably mobile platforms in Switch. May, it might come to other things, but I know it's definitely Switch and probably mobile platforms. I think, like, next week. I still stand by they announced Shovel Knight Dig too early. But, um, Shovel Knight Puzzle League? That's cool. That's cool that we're getting that. Um, Slime Rancher 2, maybe. Somerville would be cool. No, not Splatoon 3. Suicide Squad, no. TMNT keeps getting shown off at everything, so maybe. Breath of the Wild, yes, I still think so. Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe is also coming out um, next year. I think Stanley Parable, that that was an, an email recently. They announced it's coming out first quarter of next year, or spring next year, or whatever. So we could totally get Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, but because I think Ultra Deluxe was revealed at the Game Awards. Stanley Parable is an amazing game. One of the best, I think we call them walking simulators, which I know is usually seen as a derogatory term, but Stanley Parable is fucking fantastic. And I'm super excited for Ultra Deluxe whenever that happens. Um, the Sonic game. So I talked about the Sonic movie. I totally think we're going to get a new trailer for the Sonic game. And I think the review said, when they said today that, hey, you're, we're getting the new Sonic trailer today. I think they also just basically said that, yeah, you're also getting the trailer for the movie as well. Or the trailer for both the movie and the game. 
Volcanic Vulcanoids? Is this like a Vocaloids thing? Oh, it's a shooter. Okay, I, I instantly do not give a shit. We Are OFK, I think was at the most recent sh PlayStation showcase, so probably not. Two Point Campus was at every E3, so who knows. Oh, I was like, why is that not working? Because we're 20 bells short. Ah, eh, god damn it. Oh, um, Untitled Goose Game 2? Honestly, it would make so much... I, I'm not saying that's on this list. It would make so much sense if they revealed Untitled Goose Game 2 tomorrow. Like, think about it. Untitled Goose Game was it, it was a good game. I enjoyed it. I play. I mean, I played it twice, so it got me. It got on different consoles, is what I mean. So it got me enough to play it twice. So I could easily see them doing an Untitled Goose Game too, or do like do some other like I would. I just, I I wish they just called it Goose Game instead of Untitled Goose Game, but eh, that's just semantics. But no, I could easily see them doing like an Untitled Goose Game too, or. Something like that. Um, to do the thing. Um, anything else? Oh, uh, one. So, you know, Ubisoft, the company that sexually and physically abuses their employees? Yeah. Um, so they announced that they were going to start making NFTs and they were going to do this Ubisoft Quartz, which was going to be like this NFT thing and. It looked fucking stupid as shit because fuck Ubisoft. Well, yeah, it got so much backlash that they can that they they already delisted it. So while Ubisoft was planning on doing NFT shit, fuck NFTs. It's it's already been. I guess they've already delisted it, and I guess on YouTube it it had like a ninety five percent dislike ratio, which I know dislikes are disabled, but guess what? Somebody just made a Chrome extension. That enabled dislikes again, so that you way you could see the numbers, because all the numbers are still there in the background. You just can't see them. Now you can see them with this Chrome extension or whatever. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, I guess it's one of the biggest like dislike ra dislike ratios Ubisoft's had. So fuck that and fuck Ubisoft. There, that that'll be on a good note. Hey Ubisoft, fix your shit. Go f fire Esquimo and fix your fucking shit. Make your company good again. Because I want to play that Mario plus Rabbits game, but I won't play it unless your company's not fucking hot garbage anymore. Fuck Ubisoft. Um, and that's where we're going to end off. I know we did nothing today. I know we literally just did nothing. But I have a final to go work on. So I'm going, and I want to get this done by tonight. Technically, it's not due tonight. But I want to get it at least mostly done tonight. So I'm going to go work on that now. And then uh, tomorrow we'll actually do some... Tomorrow's also going to be like a stream around this time. Because I have things to do tomorrow night. A.K.A. not the Game Awards. And uh, that's not me being like hyperbolic or anything. Seriously, I'm not doing the Game Awards. We'll talk about it the following night. We'll talk about it on Friday. But we'll do that when we do that. Yeah, I, I know it was a simple, dumb day today. But I, I've been out the past few days. I had a tummy ache. It was, it was, it was so much worse than a tummy ache. Like, oh my gosh, I, I didn't want to get up. And then I had to drive myself down to the university and take a fucking final. Oh my god, and I still have to write another paper today. Ah. Ah, uh, uh-huh. But that's where we're going to end off today. What, Whatever the heck this was. I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. We'll, we'll actually do something tomorrow. Until next time, peace.